I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle, but we are in the dream dimension. And because we're in the dream dimension, we can make any mob we want into this nightmare or dream variant. And this means we can create some crazy mobs. So, Cordy, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, Smirky, I am. And I'm gonna spot in way better mobs than you. We'll see about that, Cordy. And now, let's let the mob battle begin. But before we spawn in any mobs, let me show you how this is gonna work. So over here, I have two switches that Cordy does not have on his side, which is the dream dimension switch or the nightmare dimension switch. And basically what this does is it turns our mobs into the dream or nightmare variant, depends on what switch I pull. So this is gonna be really, really helpful during the mob battle. But we also have another thing that's gonna be super duper helpful during the mob battle, which is this button over here. And let me show you what this does. So if we come over here and press this button, it sets our side of the wall to glass so we can actually set up one-way glass and cheat and see what Cordy is spawning in. And look at what he's spawning in for this first round. He's literally spawning in tigers. Look at this. Okay, uh, these animals are really deadly, but since it is the first round of the mob battle, I kind of want to start out with a mob that is not that deadly and turn it into its dream or nightmare variant. So to start out, I am going to spawn in a dog and a fox, and these are going to be the two mobs I'm going to spawn in, and we are going to make sure that we spawn in a lot of these guys, because what I'm going to do with my whole thing of animals is actually come over to the nightmare switch and show you guys what this does. So let's come over here and pull it! And what did it do? It literally turned night, and it turned all of our mobs into the nightmare variant. So you remember how we started off with some of the dogs, and then I guess fox well, look at what these guys turned into. These are like some evil dogs and evil foxes. What are these? Okay, those are kind of spooky. But as you see, my army compared to Cordy's army is a lot more different because he does not have access to the nightmare and dream machines, making his mobs a pretty normal thing compared to my mobs. Like, these things are literally insane. Like, why do we have foxes with, like, parasites coming out of them? Okay, that's a little bit crazy. But we do got to go on to the first round of the mob battle. So, Cardi, are you ready for this mob battle? Smirky, of course I'm ready for this mob battle. I am one of my favorite mobs ever. Your favorite mobs ever? Okay, Cardi. Well, do you think you're going to be able to win this mob battle? Yes, Smirky, I am definitely going to win without a doubt. All right, then. Well, in that case, let's drop the walls now. And let's go, Cardi. And Smirky, what are are your bobs? These are so scary. Yeah, I know they're scary. They, I guess you could say they are literally from a nightmare. And how did they devour all your tigers that quickly? What on earth, Smokey? You are right. These are definitely from a nightmare. But anyways, why is your side of the arena all these weird blocks? Um, uh, Cordy, there's no reason in particular. Maybe it's just the fact that these are literally nightmare mobs uh, just because they're super scary. There is no other reason. I guess that would explain it, Smokey. These Mobs are so cool. All right, then. But, Gordy, that was literally one of the fastest rounds ever. And you know what that means? That I won that round. And now, there are four rounds left. And if I win all four, I win the mob battle. Sparky, you're not gonna win anymore because I'm gonna make a huge comeback. Okay, Cordy, that's not gonna happen. Anyways, let's reset the arena now. And now, the arena is reset. But do not leave because we still have four more rounds to win. And we have crazier mobs that we can do. And remember how the arena turned into its nightmare variant? Well, for this round, I actually want to test out the dream machine. So before we do that, let's head over to our button and see what Cardi's up to now. And what on earth did Cardi spawn in? These are literally insane robots. And I'm pretty sure these guys are so strong that they can literally break bedrock. Okay, these guys are very, very strong. And now normally I would be a little bit scared of these guys, but I am not because remember we have literal machines that can make our mobs into special variants. And you know what? Since we did use some normal mobs last round and it turned out to be something insane, I kind of want to push our luck and see how much more insane we can make it. So you know what we're going to do. And since the normal mobs turned out so strong, you know what we got to do. We got to spawn in a horse and we got to spawn in a sheep. And these are literally probably the most normal mobs, but I kind of want to 
see what these guys will turn into when we go over and flick that dream lever. So you know what? Let's spawn in a bunch of both mobs. And since they're super normal mobs, I kind of am thinking these won't turn out to be that good. But hopefully I'm wrong. And that's a little bit of foreshadowing because these are going to be actually insane. So let's head over to our dream lever and actually flick it. And what happened? What did her mobs turn into? Well, I guess these are the sheep over here and these are literally the horses. And wait, did they turn into unicorns? Whoa, this is so cool. But I guess this is the dream dimension. So I guess this is some kind of like mythical sheep too. So these guys probably have some insane attacks and I'm kind of excited to see what they are. And they're probably going to be way more powerful than Cordy's robot army. And he literally only has three mobs so this might actually be a really really easy win for me but i think that it will be true if these guys actually end up having some insane attacks wait to test it out, we should probably spawn in a mob that these guys will not like villagers because these guys do not like villagers. But let's see what's going to happen. And wait, what just happened? It's literally doing so many random attacks. And wait, did the villagers literally already die? Wait, what just happened? I have no idea what happened. Why is there like rainbow blocks and there's like blocks flying and then lightning from coming from the sky and like lightning coming from the sky? That was genuinely crazy and it turned one of the villagers into a witch. Okay, these guys should literally have some insane attacks during the mob battle, but you know what? I think I'm ready to drop the walls. Hey, Cardi, are you also ready to drop the walls and go on to the second round of our mob battle? Yes, Sparky, I'm ready, and I have the craziest boss ever. Yeah, Cardi, I don't think it's any crazier than what I have. You know what? Let's drop the walls now. Now! And let's go, Cardi. You are about to lose. Okay. Murky, I am not about to lose, but wait, why is so much stuff happening? Cruddy, I have no idea. I think my mobs are literally doing the most random attacks ever. Like, what are my unicorns doing? There's literally rainbow blocks flying everywhere and lightning. What? And look at this. My unicorn is literally killing all your robots. I think they're literally electrocuting right now from the lightning. This is so bad because when robots get struck by lightning, they... It does super extra damage. Yeah, you're right about that. But why are so many rainbows going everywhere? I think it's because I hear unicorns. They're like a dreamy mob. What? That is genuinely crazy. But what kind of attacks can my rams do? I think they can do some insane lightning attacks. Wait, aren't these electric sheep? And wait, one of them just died. Uh-oh, that's not good. And Smirky, there's only two robots left. And you're right. And it's only a matter of time before both of them die because these guys are actually getting a little bit low. And Gordy, I think it's getting super duper low and oh, it literally flopped on the ground and died. Let's go! Smirky, I think all my robots are dead. I can't believe I lost another round. Yeah, that is crazy. Look at what my unicorns and electric sheep did to the arena over here. It's like a cloud. How did you even get such a cool arena? I don't even know how there's a cloud here. Uh, Cardi, I have no idea. But you know what? Just ignore it. Let's move on to the next round. And so now we are on to the next round of the mob battle. And we are only going to get more insane from here. So do not leave because we are about to do some crazy, crazy things. But let's see what Cordy is up to. And let's press this button to actually see what he's doing on his side of the arena. So let's press it. And what kind of army did Cordy spawn in? Is this literally an undead army? Okay, well, these are actually pretty powerful because I think those guys are literally like necromancers which means they can literally spawn in a giant army of mod like this army, but basically uh, 10 times bigger. And that is not a good thing because do you see the OP armor that some of these guys have? They look a little bit scary. So I feel like we need to make a scarier mob and we can't really get a scary mob from the dream dimension. So you know what we gotta do. We gotta come up to this nightmare one and we gotta think of some mobs we can spawn in. But if you know what these mobs are, this is basically the dread army that sounds a little bit scary but cardi is missing a mob from this dread army that is actually pretty good and let me show you what that is 
which is called the Dread Scuttler, which is basically like some giant muted spider, and it's actually pretty scary. But I feel like it's a lot more scarier than Cardi's army, and we can take this up a level by, you know what, heading over to this nightmare dimension switch and flicking it. Let's go. And what did it spawn in? I mean, it turned into nine, but what is that thing? That is a really, really scary spider. But this is definitely a lot scarier than Cardi's army, and I think this is gonna be very powerful. But since we only have one, I feel like it's only fair if we spawn in a couple. And whoa, look at these guys. These are literally insane. And... And let me ask how Cardi's army is doing compared to mine because I think mine is a lot better than his. So, Cardi, how is your army doing? Smirky, my army is going fantastic! Your army is going fantastic, Cardi? Are you sure about that? Because I just hear a lot of bones rattling on your side. Did you spawn in skeletons? Yes, I did, Smokey. There's a bunch of undead mobs here, and it's super, super cool. Super, super cool. Well, anyways, Cardi, I'm going to let you know that I'm going to drop the walls, so you better be ready right now. And let's go, Cardi. The mob battle is officially beginning, and what is your army? It doesn't look that good compared to mine. Oh, my gosh, Smokey. I thought my army was good, but compared to yours, you're right. My army sucks. What are these things? These are literally like those dread scuttler spiders but in their nightmare form uh, that's how i describe it that's not actually what it is uh trust me uh okay smoky but yeah these are some crazy spider nightmare mobs and oh my gosh they're doing so much damage but wait, Cordy, I think after every kill they get on your mobs, they actually regen because a bunch of them just died. Like, look at all the stuff on the ground. And wait, all my mobs are back to full health. Full health. Oh my gosh, Mookie, this is really bad for me. I only have a couple mobs left. Yeah, you literally have horses back there and then like three guys right here that are just kind of stuck. Like, go over and fight them. What are you doing? Smokey, this is so sad. There is almost a 0% chance I can win. My mobs are too scared to fight yours. Yeah, I don't know why they are, but it looks like my mom is starting to chase it, and look at the horse. It does not want to be attacked by that guy. And oh my gosh, it just got attacked, and now the guy's gonna get attacked. Oh my gosh. And Cardi, you literally only have horses left. You just want to forfeit at this point. Yeah, I forfeit, Smirky. My horses are not gonna win. I guess you just won another round. Alright, well, in that case, Cardi, let's reset their arena and move on to the next round. And Cardi, I'm just gonna get Give you a warning right now. I only need to win two more rounds to win the entire mob battle. Let's go, Smirky! And now we are on to the fourth round of the mob battle, and we only need to win to this round and another round to completely win against Cardi. But to make sure that we will actually win, we need to see what he is going to spawn in first. So let's hit the button and see for ourselves. And what on earth is Cordy spawning in? Are those like no block siren heads? Those are actually so weird and creepy. Okay, I guess Cordy is trying to go for a scary mob because those are a little bit freaky. Why are they so tall? But I feel like we should go for something freakier and something way stronger. And I actually have a perfect idea. And it is called the I wizard and this mob is actually very strong on its own but i kind of want to see what will happen if we make this guy even stronger when we actually go and turn it into its nightmare variant because the last round when we turned something into its nightmare variant it made it insanely op so hopefully that happens this time again so you know what we gotta do we gotta go over up to the nightmare thing and actually flick the lever and wait why did it make that sound uh, what did it do? Well, I guess we'll just look behind it. Wait, what, did it literally just put sub in the sky? Well, I guess you should subscribe if it says you should. Well, anyways, uh, hopefully we can flick the lever again and see if it actually works. So let's flick it. And what happened? What did that eye wizard turn into? Okay, this mob is literally insane. It literally made a giant nightmare eye monster. This guy is actually a little bit crazy. But I guess our army is complete now because this mob is insane. And it's kind of 
like going over the wall right now. So Cardi will probably notice it soon. So we should probably drop the walls ASAP. So Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls and move on to the next round of the mob battle? Yes, I am, Sparky, and I have my best mob yet. There's no way you have your best mob yet. Anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's go. And let's go. The mob battle has started, and Cardi, you are about to lose because look at my mob. Wait, what is happening? There's a bunch of completely random attacks happening. Yeah, what is this? Cardi, it's literally doing some insane stuff, and that has to be one of the fastest rounds ever. What just happened? I think that just is the fastest round ever. All my mobs died so fast. Cordy, it literally was literally under 10 seconds, I think, and just take a look at my mob. It is probably very deserved that that thing won, because that is just crazy. Yeah, this mob is absolutely insane. There's no way you spot a better mob than that. Uh, yeah, Cardi, we'll see about that, but I need to let you know, Cardi, there is literally only one more round left in the mob battle, and you need to step up your game, because right now, I am 4-0. to zero. Okay, Smirk, I'm gonna step up my game a lot and spawn the best mob in. Alright, well, in that case, Cardi, let's reset the arena. And now the arena is reset and let's move on to the final round. And what I want to do first is, of course, set this to glass so we can see what Cardi is going to spawn in. And what on earth is that? That is literally an OP Mecha Godzilla, and it's literally already shooting stuff. Okay, why is this thing so mad? Well, we got to make sure that we can spawn in a way better mob than this, because uh, this guy is very insane. And if you don't know anything about this, the only counter to Mecha Godzilla's is literally super powerful electricity or literally command blocks. So why don't we try and spawn spotted a mob that can actually use command blocks and i have an idea so first let's give ourselves a command block because i kind of want to combine the command block with a mob so let's place a few command blocks like this so we can build a platform for our mob with command blocks now on top of the command blocks let's place down a let's place down a beetle as our mob and let's just see what this turns into because i'm kind of interested and we've been using the nightmare switch a lot so why not for this round we do the dream switch Switch. So let's go over and flick it. And what did our mob turn into? What is this? I can't even see anything. And what on earth did this turn into? And this literally has a command block in it. Okay, this mob is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And it makes that Godzilla literally look tiny. But I think our army is ready. And I kind of wonder what attacks this guy has. Well, I guess we'll see when Cardi is ready to drop the walls. And Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, yeah, Smirky, and I definitely have my best mob yet. All right, well, if you say so, I'm going to drop the walls right now. Let's get on to it now. And let's go, Cardi. You are about to lose. Do you even see my mob? Smirky, I see your mob, and it's at a massive command block. <laughs> yep, it is, Cardi. It, this mob is literally insane. And what is it doing, Cardi? It literally just sent your Godzilla off the arena. Do you see the crazy attacks it's doing? There is so much random stuff happening. <laughs> Wait, I think that is because I made a dream mob. And if, with a command block, you can make anything that I dream of happen. So that literally means that this mob is dreaming of insane attacks to do. Smirk, you keep talking about dreaming and nightmares, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, well, Cardi, I mean, your mob isn't on the arena anymore, so I guess it is safe to say that I did officially win, right? Yeah, I guess you won, Smirky. This is no fair. Well, Cardi, I'll show you why it wasn't fair and why I was talking about dreams and nightmares. So if you come over here, Cardi, I actually have two switches. One that sets this thing to a dream dimension, Mom, and the other to a nightmare dimension. What, Smirky? You were using these the whole time? Yeah, and that's how I was making some really, really OP mobs. Smirky, I don't forgive you. You better give me the win or else I'm gonna be mad. What? Okay, uh, I am sorry, Cardi. Do you forgive me now? And you can also have the win. Okay, yes, now I forgive you. Let's go. Well, if you enjoyed this mob battle, you remember to subscribe. And you have to subscribe because, like, none of you guys subscribe. And that's kind of crazy to me. So if you watch these videos and enjoy them, make sure to subscribe. Bye.